Right, so I just wanted to show you this homemade rat trap. Um, if you're into uh, kind of mouse traps, rat traps, and squirrel traps, you might recognise this as being very similar to another type of trap because it is based on what I believe to be called the Ool uh, rat squirrel trap, whatever. So, but an Ool trap. Um, I'd seen a picture of it. And I was looking at it, and I thought. Well, that looks so simple, I reckon I could make something like that. Now, it's a bit different because I've kind of made it much more simpler than theirs. But it's essentially the same thing, but completely homemade. So, I'll run through it and kind of how I made it. If you want to see the proper one, Google Ool, which is O-U-E-L-L. -L. It's a Canadian company that makes um, traps and that. So, like I said, I saw their trap and I thought... I reckon I could make a simple look on a homemade version. Um, their one has massive springs, but this is the biggest springs that I had at the minute. But I reckon I could probably get some bigger springs on this. Right, so... First thing I did was got the pipe and I left it long because I wasn't sure how long I was going to do it first. So I've made a great big long pipe and first of all I just screwed the front end to a plank of wood. And I got a piece of metal and I kind of bent it into um, a shape like that so across the top and then down but really long and then from there I kind of worked out the bends like that and the same the other side along bent it round around that and that kind of gives it the the pull you see the pull down if that makes sense And when I'd done that, I just held this in place, drilled the holes for these bolts, which go like that. You can just about see them in there. Then, fitted these springs, pulled them up, marked them, and just made some holes there for bolts again. Filled the back in with a piece of wood. The, I had to make the kind of trigger. This, I probably will change. But that's just the same. Bent around piece of metal. But I probably will change the shape of this or something. Cut a slot in the top. It goes in there. And then worked out this part to hold it in place. And I just had to just keep putting a piece of metal there, pulling this up, um, bending it until it kind of got the right shape. And then I bent it there, but it needed bending again kind of thing. But essentially that was it and I just tied that in place with string. Um, like I said, this is a simpler version than theirs. This is kind of like a hybrid kind of cross between a couple of theirs because they've got other traps. Um, but theirs has a double bar system and it's the second bar which is held by a straight pin. Right, now the reason that I didn't do a video of actually showing making this is because I just made it on the off chance and just kind of just started making it without any plans just you know trying a piece of pipe and then trying to see if I, I didn't actually know if it was gonna work or not I just kept trying bit by bit but then every bit I did seemed to work and it seemed to work out right I'll set it for you and show you so like I said their one has got a double bar and you pull one bar over it and this bar it ends up about the same position on this one about there but the other bar comes right to here. And it's kind of got a hook. It could possibly be here. Which holds this one up. That The second bar gets held down. So you can get a nice straight um, bar on top. And then the springs you see come around like that. And then when you push like the kind of whiskers in, the trap goes off. I 
think if you kept adjusting it, you could probably get this really sensitive, but at the minute it's quite heavy to go off. But you can see it's sticking out quite far, so I reckon you could probably cut a fair bit off the end of that to get that, you know, pretty sensitive. I've got a fake rat and see how kind of far his head goes in because the way this trap would work is the animal will sniff around and then we'll try and push his way inside to get the bait. Yeah, so I think with I think that would definitely kill a mouse. Um, maybe some stronger springs would kill a rat. And obviously what you do is you just throw your bait down the back. On the proper Ool ones, um, this door opens. So you can just put your bait in. But obviously you can just hold it like this. Throw your bait in. Make sure it's at the back. So yeah, um, when you look at it, it kind of does resemble just an ordinary kind of snap trap, but slightly different design. It's essentially the same. Um, but I saw it and I thought, you know, that looks like something I might be able to make. So I thought I'll just give it a go and just try it. And I did it. So, um, but I think this size would definitely kill a mouse if it can set the trigger off. Um, you might need bigger springs for a rat and for something like a squirrel definitely bigger springs but um, you definitely got to make the trigger a little bit more lighter though so I'll kind of put it right on the end but you know right cheers for watching I'll see you later